Hi, Larry and Tracy. I am back on the Nixington Street house and I want to show you the surrounding area. I know that we looked at this in the showing, but I want to make sure that it is on the video. The stop sign is on Bay Drive and right across the street you can see the walking, biking, jogging path. This is the neighboring home. They've got a great moonflower um, vine growing in that pot. I'm a little jealous of it. If you've never grown moonflowers before, they bloom and they're absolutely beautiful. And they're kind of hard to kill. Um, the driveway has parking for a whole bunch of cars, actually. I would say possibly two to three, depending on the length of the car. My car is pretty long um, on each side of the driveway. I'm going to go in the main entry of the home, which again is on the third level. Entering in the home. This is the living area. And this area has the laminate flooring. And as we talked about yesterday, it does have a cutout by the door. I have seen this. This is more typically what I see, where they have replaced flooring that could have been hurt by water infiltration with tile. Kitchen. And this is the kitchen that had all Maytag appliances. I'm going to walk across this and uh, get a view from the other side. So this is the living area. The fireplace is there in the corner. And then the dining area. Turning around and walking through the rest of the home. Up here we have a power room and we have the laundry area. Washer and dryer. And then this is where they had the cabinet with the lighthouses. Going down the stairs. The carpet here is a, I would say navy blue or gray, berber, probably a dark gray. Coming down the stairs, going into the master. This is the master bedroom. It does have windows on two of the walls, which is good for natural light. The carpet in here is kind of an off-white or cream color. And I think that uh, this has been here longer than the new carpet that I'm seeing in the third bedroom. But I wanna go back again and video the ceiling so that you can see it. This is where I think the deck has been enclosed. The closets in this house are very nice for the master bedroom. There are two rows of hangers in this closet. And this closet is bigger than what you see in the openings. It does extend to the side. And it extends to the side on this side. There's another closet. And if you recall, the other closet had um, hanging for uh, lawn clothes, so dresses and coats. And this closet appears to me to be the same size, uh, just simply one shelf. Going back and looking around the room, when I measured this room with my feet, it was 13 across. There is room in here for a king size bed. And then going into the master bath, there is tile, or not tile on the floor, this is vinyl. And these look to be original fixtures. Get an overview of the room again. And let me back up. So between the two registers against the wall, that is where I would expect to see a bed located between the two windows. Moving across the hall, this bedroom actually appears to be the same width, but for some reason, to me, it felt smaller than the other room. I'm not sure why. This one has the door going out to the deck and has a small closet and it has the same carpet. This is the carpet that I thought um, should probably be replaced. Moving down the hallway, the third bedroom has new carpet. It's a nice gray color and it has a small closet and again windows on two wall 
for a lot of natural light. This is the smallest bedroom. There's a full bath for the uh, two bedrooms that are not masters to share. And again, this is original. Then we go down the stairway into the weight room. Let me see if I can get this light on. Yay, let there be light. Okay, and this takes us down into the weight room. And again, the weights convey, they are not planning on taking them. So nice workout area down here. There is a bike, a huge weight bench, um, a smaller weight bench with dumbbells. And then behind all of this, there is a closet with a lot of storage. Um, this does not have vents in it that I saw before, um, but the door is open, so it is the same temperature as the room down here. Electrical boxes in here. Everything is very nice and neat. This is the wall that had the T111, and as I spoke, to you about what the listing agent had heard from the appraiser. He did not count this, this level, which was 210 square feet in the heated square footage because he said it wasn't drywalled. Stairs are drywalled. It's the other walls in the room that are T111. I'm going to walk out into what has now been an enclosed uh, garage area. So plenty of space on this side. There um, are lights here and they have insulated and they have vents. You can see they have made it uh, so that this would be a heating and heated and cooled space. Uh, it would be up to you, of course, what you would like to do with it moving forward, whether changing it back to a regular parking area or garage or using it for heated square footage but this ha is non-conforming, it has not been permitted. Then there are the double doors going out to the backyard. Let me just get an overview of this room. If you guys wanna move forward with this house, then uh, during the home inspection, I would simply have the home inspector look at it and then try to schedule a licensed uh, contractor to come in and give you an evaluation of what should happen here. And then uh, coming back into the house, up the stairs, uh, that's the end of the tour. The next video will be the crow's nest. I'm going to go up there and shoot a video for you.